This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Uh, hello friends. Uh, today's video is going to be slightly different and it's something about a, a device called as the OmniGlow. Uh, let me confirm that this is not a sponsored video and I don't have any financial interest in any of the products which are being discussed in this video. The reason for making this video is that I have received a lot of messages in the recent past asking me for my opinion about this device. So I decided to make this short video. So let me give a brief introduction about the principle of stereocoaxial illumination seen in some higher end Zeiss and Lyco microscopes. Well, I have been using the Zeiss Lumerai microscope since 2011 and I believe that the stereocoaxial illumination built in that microscope really changed the way uh, we visualize during cataract surgery. Uh, typically, this can be identified by the presence of these three light reflections or by only two reflections in the pure coaxial mode. Uh, the, the magical red glow which we get with the system irrespective of the pupillary diameter enhanced the safety of cataract surgery and made life easier for us especially in difficult cases and improved outcomes by leaps, especially in complex case scenarios. Well, the only downside of these microscopes is the cost, which makes it unaffordable for a large number of surgeons. I had heard of a device called as the OmniGlow a couple of years back, created by an ophthalmologist Dr. Jagdeep Kakadia from Bhavanagar, Gujarat and uh, I couldn't get hand of it for a couple of years but few months back I could manage to buy one. I bought this one for my old Zeiss 1 FR uh, microscope which is our standby microscope. And this device was supposed to provide stereocoaxial illumination similar to that of uh, Lumera I. So here is my brief uh, review or my impressions about this device. It's a small uh, illuminating device which attaches to the bottom of the objective lens of the microscope. It has inbuilt LED bulbs which provide the illumination, the intensity of which can be controlled by the provided power regulator. And this is how it looks. So what has been my experience with it? Well, for a surgeon who does not have a stereocoaxial illumination in the microscope, this would be a brilliant addition. We get a fantastic red glow at every stage of surgery, irrespective of the pupil size. And let me demonstrate the light settings. What we see in the top broad light, it belongs to the microscope, and the bottom two lights are coming from the OmniGlow. So essentially, we see these three light reflections when both the microscope and the OmniGlow device is on. This is how it looks when only the microscope light is on. And this is how it looks when only the OmniGlow is on and the microscope light has been turned off. Uh, this is a quite a representative case because this is an elderly lady with a slightly smaller pupil and also she has pseudo exfoliation and dense cataract. So zonules are quite loose here as is evidenced by wrinkling of the capsule and uh, with the help of a forceps, an adequately sized ruxus is created. I believe that the most critical step in such eyes with loose zonules is hydrodissection. I carefully perform hydrodissection by injecting small amounts of fluid at different uh, quadrants until the nucleus is totally free from its attachment to the capsule bag. The nucleus rotation is done by the candle itself. Then we proceed with emulsification and the nucleus could be emulsified quite easily. As the case progresses, we can see that the pupil has progressively decreased in size. In spite of the small pupil, we can appreciate a significantly decent amount of red glow. The cortex aspiration is done 
under the illumination of just the omni glow the microscope light is off here the red glow is of great help in extracting out the cortex easily and with great safety Uh, let us see the difference with the different combinations of the light sources. Now this is with the microscope light on and this is with the combination of both the microscope light as well as the Omni Glow and this is with just the Omni Glow. This is how it looks when only the microscope light is on. Uh, during eye implantation, the AC has a shallower and I could see the wrinkling of the posterior capsule because of the enhanced red glow prompting me to use OVD to deepen the bag for an uneventful implantation of the intraocular lens. So the red glow did come in handy uh, in enhancing the safety during surgery. Well, there is no doubt that stereo coaxial system is of immense help in enhancing the visibility during a routine surgery and also safety during complex surgeries. Let me try to answer a few of the most commonly or frequently asked questions uh, which have come to me in the recent past about this device. How is it? How is the Omni Glow? Well, for a surgeon who has not experienced stereocoaxial elimination, then this would be wonderful. Uh, I think uh, the, you will enjoy it. Does it affect my working since it decreases the working distance? Well, it does decrease the working distance marginally, but I think all of us will just get adjusted with just a couple of uh, cases. So it's not an issue. Does the stereopsis decrease when we use this device? Uh, no, I don't think so because in my experiences, I have just tried all the different combination of light sources. Uh, for me, it didn't make any difference at all and there is no obvious uh, decrease in stereopsis. Is the illumination bright enough? Yes, of course, uh, there is no problem with it. We can control the illumination with the provided regulator. In fact, I think one significant and unique advantage with this device is that even in a scenario where the microscope illumination is lost because of some reason uh, every step of the surgery can be completed with the sole illumination from this device itself to conclude for most eye surgeons who do not have access to stereocoaxial illumination buying this device and attaching it to their uh, basic microscope is one of the most valuable and smartest investment one can make to enhance their surgical experience Thank you for your attention and hope this helps.